This is your Twin Flame reading for the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine and the current union energy going on between you and your Twin Flame. I'm Alden and I am a student of Twin Flame Ascension School and Life Purpose class with Jeff and Shalia. And I am here with you today to uncover what's going on in your world and in the collective for the divine masculine twin flame i have over here on the right represented by this nature's whispers oracle card and the divine feminine twin flame on the left and that's uh, another nature's whispers oracle card and then the union energy like what's really going on what's you know what's everything that uh, both of you whether you are the dm or the DF are uh, both experiencing and ultimately investing your energy into into uh, the foundation of your union what's going on there that's the middle card so let's start with the divine masculine we'll move over this beautiful citrine crystal so some extra uh, solar plexus and sacral chakra energy uh, you know, abundance, creativity, that solar energy as well. So let's see what's going on for the DM. Uh, we have vulnerability. So this is about the divine masculine being willing to be more vulnerable. And actually that could be being more vulnerable about his or your, if you're the DM watching this, about your divine masculinity so uh this is about being vulnerable and how masculine you can be and are without like uh you know trying to take on other stereotypes or even like your father or father figures but just letting that naturally come through you feeling how good that is not being afraid of it and going deeper into that vulnerable place where um where yeah it uh it can be a very tender place in a way to um present that you know out into the world and um maybe in the moment even it feels really natural and everything but if you find yourself questioning anything you know just uh invite god there and know that you're doing it right if it feels like you if you feel like you're really um, able to express your true self then you know that you're on the right track and being vulnerable in this way by the way can also you know being masculine can look all kinds of different ways it could look like crying but being very masculine it can look very like working on you know putting together a closet with some power tools whatever it is um it's just about opening up to the world and sharing more of your presence with the world and uh like you know there's there is also a softness to that and that's um safe and um that's also at the same time protective and so it's a uh, it's good to understand that it's both and to respect your masculinity for what it is. So in being more vulnerable, you're able to go deeper with respect, with self-respect and respect for other DMs as well, you know, and that can be really nice too, to be able to just relate. And this is very, yeah, attractive and magnetic to the divine feminine, to, you know, your feminine twin flames. So um that's what's going on for the dm and if you're the df watching this then you know you know okay i can hold space for that and that's like a nice um a nice awareness to have so i have some strawberry quartz over here for the divine feminine um yeah it's actually often uh, associated with like the mother like the you know and high heart energy so that's really nice like some mothering divine mothering energy there and for your card it says you are worth it a lot of candles definitely about uh appreciating 
the flame within your heart. So as you go deeper with your own self-worth and loving yourself, it's safe to feel your twin flame in that place in your heart and to embrace him there and to let that happen naturally, to not try to like, you know, feel the need to um, kind of go outside of yourself to love your twin flame, even if it's within, like it's not a forced feeling, it's very natural. And when you're really honest about that uh, and, you know, really filling your own self up with um, with value, with worth, you know, like with your own love, with divine love, then that love is naturally going to flow to your twin flame. And, um, you know, if you want more support with that, the Romance Attraction e-course is really wonderful. And if you really want to go all the way into the core of the work twin flame ascension school is your answer so you're worth it you know you're also worth investing into and whether you're the dm or the df don't be afraid to invest into your twin flame journey however that may be you know including just with your energy too um like don't put off doing the inner work in loving yourself, expecting someone else, including your twin flame, to do it for you. However, when you do love yourself, expect to attract and magnetize your twin flame union easily to you. So uh, this can be an easy process and the hardest thing might be just letting go of your resistance to the idea that you're worth it and so holding on to ideas not saying that you obviously want to hold on to these ideas of not being worth it but they can be ingrained you know programmed patterns basically like you know plugged into the matrix so to speak so as you unplug from the matrix you know you find yourself in this really like beautiful unique place within and uh you know you're lit in a in a very peaceful way and it's really beautiful too so yeah, you're worth it. And um, it's got number 23 here and 34. So I like that, two, three, four. So um, it, to me that says, you know, as the divine feminine is like filling herself up with worth, she's also inviting the masculine to be more vulnerable. And so it's really creating this nice loving balance. Um, so let's move on to the middle card. And this is Selenite, by the way. And uh, it's a very nice, peaceful heart crystal. Uh, and this is Kyanite. And it says, make time for self-care. And this is always a really nice reminder, a nice, gentle reminder. And it says, you know, taking care of yourself is essential right now. And of course, taking care of yourself is always essential. But sometimes it's time to, you know, play hard, to work hard um, in a way that is in alignment. And you know, maybe do a lot of inner work. And this is calling you to really go to that place of where, you know, what the parts of you that are needing attention are calling for to feel enriched, to feel nurtured, to feel cared for. And self-care can look so many different ways. And it's not always what you do on the outside, although that can really um, amplify how you're feeling about yourself on the inside when you do it from that really loving place. So it doesn't necessarily mean, you know, throwing a bunch of face masks on and stuff like that, although that can be really nice and maybe that is what you feel called to do. But the main thing here is to, you know, nurture yourself. Perhaps your inner child is really calling for some, like, extra attention and just um, going deeper, you know, going to that next level of nurturing where maybe you haven't received a whole lot of that in your life in some way and giving that to yourself. And when you do that within, then you always get some kind of next step that's really easy to see about uh, how you can carry this out, you know, in your whole world. So that might be like doing something in your outer reality to reflect the inner healing that you're doing. And um, 
So yeah, when you just let it happen easily, instead of trying to decide, you know, how you're going to care for yourself. Um, Cause sometimes, have you ever noticed that can actually not feel very, like not even very good or enjoyable when you're like, I should enjoy doing this. Um, cause I've enjoyed it before. Um, but it's not really actually like the thing that you would enjoy. Um, and sometimes that also what's coming to me, is, you know, is more downtime. Sometimes it means like, you know, you think you want to go out and about and do something. Maybe you need more downtime or maybe you think you want more downtime and you actually, uh, part of you is really craving going out a little bit. So just really don't be afraid to go to those places and put your energy into getting clear on what your real um, desire is for healing at this time and for your next step and know that this self-care is going into your union so it's for the both of you and as you go deeper with your self-worth and vulnerability you're also going more deeply into being able to have space both of you for self-care so that's a really beautiful thing too because um, i think we all like that i know i do um so that's going to conclude this reading for the divine feminine the divine masculine and the current twin flame union energy and you know what you can really do to harmonize so be sure to check out the links below if you would like to work with me there's a link below for that and also subscribe to this channel for other amazing content. Um, there's going to be some really great content coming out. And uh, so I know I can't wait. And um, that way you'll get notified when it does come out. So yeah, have a wonderful, beautiful day. And I will see you again soon. Take care. Bye.